皆さんおはようございます。So、today I want to talk about in this form.、Uh, because I think it's also another thing that a lot of people don't truly understand what it means. So I thought about making a video to explain it. And also, I think I've come up with some great examples which help you understand what it means. Okay, first of all, do you know the difference between どうしましたか versus どうしたんですか Okay. They both mean something like what happened or what's up, what is wrong, what's going on. Okay. But the first one, どうしましたか Do you know when you want to use that? So I'll give an example. Let's say you need some help from your boss. So You want to talk to him for a little bit. So you might say, Do you have a time? I want to talk to you about something. And the boss might say, Ah, どうしましたか Oh, well, what is it? What's wrong? But in this form, you want to use it when you want something explained. You want, you want some kind of explanation. So I think that's why this is called explanatory form something. You want to use it when you want specifically some kind of explanation. So the example will be I'll give you a very extreme example, but let's say your boss is arrested. He's now at the police station. And you're surprised and shocked. And you want to know what happened. You want to know what he did that caused him being arrested. Then you want to say, どうしたんですか what, what happened? What's going on? What did you do? Okay, you want some sort of explanation for his action. If you just, if you just said, どうしましたか it would make it kind of sound like being arrested is something that he always, he always does. Like it's nothing crazy or it's, it's not a big deal. It's, not a, it's nothing special. It's nothing crazy. Okay, since in this form is called explanatory form,、uh, it oftentimes goes with nande or doshite, which means why? Because you know, when you want you know, an explanation, you ask why. So, so in this form and doshite and nande kind of together oftentimes. So let's say, どうして食べましたか Why did you eat it? どうして食べましたか That's, that's, That'll be simply stating or asking Why did you eat it? Why did you eat it? Okay? どうして食べたんですか Again, in this form. どうして食べたんですか Or なんで食べたんですか That sounds like maybe let's say you had your cake in the fridge. Someone ate it and you're mad. You're gonna eat it, but someone ate it, so you're mad at it. You're mad at that person, and you want that person to explain why he ate it. Then you w a n t to say, どうして食べたんですか Again, because you want some kind of explanation. Why did you eat this?、Okay. I think it's safe to say that when you use in this form, or when you use nande or どうして you, I think you always want to have in this form. Another example is say you're meeting up with your friend. I'm gonna use casual form for this one.、Okay? So, you're gonna, so you're meeting up with your friend, but that friend is being late, hasn't showed up. And an hour later, the friend showed up, and so you, you w a n t ask him, What were you doing? What were you doing? So you can say, 何してたの何してたの Okay. No is a casual version of in this form. Okay. So, 何してたの You're asking them, what were you doing? What was it that you're doing to cause you being this late? Okay. If you said, 何してた What were you doing? 何してた That's more like, let's say you're texting your friend and you're wondering, Say you're texting your friend and you want to ask that friend to go out, eat something, 
hung out, they just wondering what they're doing first. If they're if they're available, if they're free, and you wanna say, Nani shite ka? Or what are you just doing? Okay, but when that situation where you want explanation why their friend is late, then you wanna use in this form. Nani shite ka no? Okay, that was a very brief explanation, but I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want more examples or have questions about it, just leave to leave comments. Try to answer these questions. Thank you for watching. Arigatouzaimashita. I'm planning to make another video on other particles such as no particle. Hongo no benkyo, gamatte kudasai.